Okay, Reapings everybody, welcome back to Serious Hubers Adventures in Automaton. You know, this pack really needs a trash can or something. I mean, I could just make one with lava, but it's okay. Still growing a bunch of wheat for our roof. I have made a bit of progress there. We have uh, a bunch of these hay bales on there already, but still need a ton. And actually, we're gonna do some decoration today over at the farmhouse, but we also go do other stuff. I don't want to do just building. So don't worry if, if you don't want to, you know, watch me build the entire time. We will do other things as well. Let me just grab a couple of blocks here, things that I may need. Okay, might be okay. Let's go check it out. Uh, did I do anything off camera? Yes, a little bit. Well, I finished up the roof and stuff. Uh, but I did move our animals, so they're all down here now. All the cows are in this big pen. Uh, and then all the sheep are like over here. I did go out into the world down where we found that roguelike dungeon which is like uh, right there this is where the roguelike dungeon is and i traveled over here found another meteor uh, was just one pattern inside just grabbed it anyway but uh, i was trying to get a second sheep so there we go we have a second sheep probably should have grabbed some wheat still as well but yeah roof is still in progress and i did replace this here again uh, you guys liked it more too i did however place a full block here i think it's I think it's slightly better than having the stair there. For some reason, the stair thing, it didn't look good to me. But this looks a little bit better. It's still not awesome, but it works. And I just put them on the other side as well. So it's kind of symmetrical. Although, it looks like I forgot it over here. So, wait, is this roof longer than this one? Oh, no, it's two blocks out, right? Oh, I see what I've done wrong here. Ah, okay. This needs to go. So it's actually two blocks out. Uh, okay, over here I placed it one block out, kind of. So maybe I'll fix that too. Although it lines nicely with the spacing here, I guess. Nah, it doesn't really matter, does it? So we're just going to do this on this side as well. There we go. But yeah, uh, you know, working on the roof here. So it, it's getting there. I was thinking... Actually, I don't know if it works with these blocks, but... I wonder if, like, chisel and bits would be better for the roofs? Because I can just cut out, like, corner pieces like this too. But I don't know, I don't know if there's a performance difference between uh, these blocks and the, you know, the chisel bit block. But anyway, let's go work a little bit on the interior, if we can. So first of all, I probably should replace all the floor here with some wood or something. Maybe, since I go with oak a lot, we might go with spruce floors here. And man, my body is in pain today. <laughs> so yesterday... I decided to move my desk. I have like this little room, like a den, I think it's called, uh, which I use for my desk. I moved it there like last year at one point um, for several reasons. I can't remember exactly what. I think part of it was because my hamster making noises. So when I want to record, I could at least go there. Uh, but she's not around anymore, so you know, it's different now. But uh, one of the issues was, oh, do I want a spruce? Let's see the oak, probably oak doors one of the issues was that i have a you know like a vr set htc vive and uh let's use those doors inside or outside uh, i think i like them on the inside more but in that little room i didn't really have enough well room for my uh, vr setup so I kind of decided to move my stuff back into my living room, just so I have a lot of more room and I can, uh, you know, play there with my virtual reality setup. So I've done that. And boy, was it a lot of work. Let's see, is this going to work? Stairs is always an issue for me. Uh, um, hmm. So it's going to align. The problem is here, right? I would have to do something like this. But I guess that's not too bad, is it? Uh, actually, I have an idea for this. Let's maybe change this up. So, yeah, I moved it back, but whew, that was a lot of work. I had to, you know, move my entire desk and all the setup I have over. Uh, one more, ideally. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Maybe if we do like this, but then... Hmm. Let's see, let's put it in the floor first. And at the same time, I had to, like, move things, like some furniture back into the other room, into the smaller room, so I have enough room in the main room. Uh, you know, for my desk and setup and everything, so. Yeah, I guess that works. Lots to do there, lots to do. And, you know, pretty pretty exhausting stuff. 
But I, I did it all. I got it all done. You know, moved it, moved it all, all perfect, all fine. Um, but then also afterwards, like I played while well, was my VR setup, and I played this game called Beat Saber, which is like a. It's it's like you have two lightsabers basically in your hand, and it's like a rhythm game. You see notes coming flying up to you. I think I like this. Yeah, and you have to hit them in a you know specific uh, rhythm and stuff. Um, and some of the songs are pretty crazy. Like you have to move a lot. Which is fine and stuff, but yeah, so I've been doing like moving furniture all day and then playing that game for like over two hours and my body is like, nope, that was too much, dude. <laughs> you barely move already before just sitting around playing and coding and whatever and suddenly you're moving a lot. I don't want that. Ah, goddammit, really? Missing one. Great. Uh, so yeah, I'm a little bit, a little bit sore, quite a bit sore actually, but that was fun, man. That was a lot. I'm really glad I did it. That was a lot of work, but I think it was worth it. Um, okay, so let's see. I'm just still trying to figure out how I want to do this. I do like these staircases where you go in, and I'm thinking here... Maybe we'll have uh, oak blocks just going up, a little bit of support. And then maybe go up here too. Oops, not sideways though. Although maybe... Hmm, yeah, yeah, I think I want this here too. We just go to the very top, and we're gonna have another floor up there, and so I probably should remove that. We just have a... Ooh, can I put that in there? Ah, nice. Yeah. Do something like this. Have a little bit of a staircase here. And then over here, we would just block this off, I think. Uh, not, like, completely. So I just want to be able to look through. But uh, what is this one here? Would you see this from the outside? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's do it like this. And then we could have a door here. Which is not too necessary, I suppose, but maybe like a staircase door. Okay, and then over here, let's maybe do just walls and a door on the left side. So it kind of is symmetric, symmetrical. It would be nice if the lock was in here, maybe. Although I could just put a second one here to give it some symmetry as well. But maybe it's fine. I'll just put this down. Actually, this should be a stair then, as well. And it's getting dark in here, isn't it? There we go. It is nighttime. Oh, it's getting nighttime. Nope, it's daytime. Hmm. Just got really dark inside. Okay, and I might take this out too. I just have a fence here. Although, actually, mm, maybe. Might put something in front of it. Okay, so I want to put like a kitchen down here. Let's see how we're going to do this. Furnace, and let's make a workbench. Maybe here, uh, we could have the chest, since that is a stair, we could technically have it there. Nice rhymes, I know. And since we have shelves and stuff, I could grab shelves too. And we should probably use some cobblestone there. Oh, it is getting nighttime. I was sort of right. Uh, maybe like this, and you know what, we could probably just do, I don't know. I really haven't done decorating indoors, like, or interiors, ever. <laughs> So I'm not quite sure how to do it. Could we do it like this? I don't like that it's exposed though. You know, I'm a little bit... Hmm, a little bit so-so about this. Now we could change up the... Uh, I'm thinking if I should like lower the ceiling here. That's too like crowded though. Maybe this is fine. I'm thinking we could do it a little bit different where we don't have this. And instead... Whoops. Breaking all the things. We could just technically go like this. No, that looks weird. Uh, it has to be like this, I think, right? And then you would go up like this way. I guess that works too. It gives us the benefit of having a full block on this side. And then we also get higher a little bit quicker. And then you wouldn't really see this, right? Because we can replace this then. And I'm hoping also that all the recording setup is fine now. Because like I said, you know, I had to move a lot, a lot of things around. So it's a little bit different maybe. Or... You know, it's, it's supposed to be the same, but it, there's a possibility that, that it's slightly different. If I, like, forget, forgot something. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, this kind of works. Uh, this needs to be a stair, otherwise I keep hitting my head a little bit too much here. Although we could also keep this open. Maybe I'll keep this open. And we put a fence here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I don't want to hit my head. And then, technically, this would be better if it's the other way around. So it's like a little bit smoother when you come down. Which makes it kind of flush with the wall again, right? I don't know which one I like more. I think I like the other way more. There you go. 
Let's leave it like this. Cool. And then the kitchen. Uh, yeah, can remove these weird stairs here. Oh no, wait. This needs to stay right here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, if we don't, if we want to cover this, but we don't want the ceiling to be too. We could do it like this. This is the stair. Ah, uh, looks weird. Maybe I should just cut it off like this. Maybe that's fine, you know. Stair this. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. So we have a little window. We have our kitchen here, you know, work table, crafting table if you need it. Um, and we could put some item racks up there too if we want to. Maybe I should do that. So just one here, I guess. Maybe we have another one here or something. And we'll just put some stuff in there, you know, like food and such. Uh, let's, let me leave a spot there. Do do doesn't have to, like, be completely filled, I guess. Ah, let's fill this one, though. I don't know. Oh, wait, you can put more than one, right? Yeah, so let's just do one. Uh, yeah, that kind of works. I think that looks fine. Is it bright enough in here? No, because there's absolutely no light, so we can just put a torch up there, really. All right, so that's that, and then up here, let me go get some fences. It's also really dark outside. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. Just have some lights there, really. Um, but let's just go back upstairs and just have another fence here, maybe, so we don't fall down, you know. Uh, we have torches there. If I put another one here, that would be light enough. Bright enough, I mean. Now, we could have an upstairs, too, if I... But that'd be... No, that'd be really crowded. Uh, I think just one floor up here is fine. Not sure, not really sure what to do up here, though, to be honest. So, maybe have, like, a thing here with the chest. Maybe, again, like, a crafting bench in the center or something. Um, maybe just another slab so it looks like a table up there, like this. You can work, but this makes sense. Nope. I mean, it doesn't always have to make sense, but, you know. I don't know, just <laughs> to make it look interesting. Oh, I know what would work there. I actually have a good idea. Yeah, so I think I'm going to put some flower pots down there. But I also want to go grab some carpets. So let's just make some. Uh, we can just get these carpets. And then we can right-click them here to color them. Super cool. Otherwise, I think you need eight, right? To make red wool first. Uh, and then color them individually. But thanks to Inspirations, which is such a cool mod... I, w I do want to make a, a mod spotlight of it because I don't know if I don't think a lot of people know about this. Not that my mod spotlights would notify a lot of people <laughs> that this exists, but um, you know, eh, there might be a chance. But it's just I don't know. I like it a lot. Uh, let's see. Maybe grab this little red flower here and a yellow one. There we go. And keep breeding up these sheep. I really need uh, sheep. I really need a lot of them. Uh, okay, so that's fine up here. I think it's good enough for now. I mean, we can uh, we can do more with this. Um, since this is like a well, we, yeah, we need to think about this. Since this is like a farmhouse, we probably want to make sure we have like a lot of uh, blocks here that you know help with that, like leashes and stuff. But we could try this here. And actually, let me go to the druid's house. This is still my favorite building. I think the little druid hut. It's a little bit silly and stuff. Oh, there's more carpet, but I like it. So let's put a flower up here. A little bit of a flower pot thing. Okay, so now this is where the problem here is. I, well, maybe we can leave it, but I kind of want to have a bookshelf here now. I made this one. It's a quark one again, right? Yeah, I think I should replace this. It's not... I don't like these too much, but it's okay. Uh, and maybe we do something like this. And we just have another flower pot. Didn't I have a second one? Where's my second one? Oh, there. So dark sometimes. Boop. Another flower. I'm gonna get rid of this uh, for now. And... Uh, how do we encase this properly? Yeah, yeah, because it's like a different wood color now. With quark, it doesn't look as good. I don't know if this <laughs> design works. I think I should have multiple bookshelves up there or something. Not quite. I don't think I like this too much. But it's okay. And maybe we'll have some carpet here. Maybe just there. Sure. That works, I guess. And what we could have, if we get another, like, item, case, shelf, whatever. Let's just put it here. And take some she uh, shears. And also a lead or leash. Whoop, like this, right? 
and maybe some wheat. And I guess if we wanted, we could have some up here too. Carpet. By the way, with uh, inspirations, you can also put them on stairs like this. So if that's something you want to do, you could totally do this. But I don't think it would work well in um, this house. But I think that's fine for now, really. I mean, we don't really need too much in here, right? I have a little kitchen. A little entrance room. And then upstairs. Uh, probably need more up here. I think one thing that would be nice. Can we make these? No, we can't make uh, cobwebs. But like putting some cobwebs down or something would be cool. Oh, and out here, maybe have a stair so we can sit. Oh, it's disabled with quark, I guess. Eh, it doesn't look as good. I mean, there's real tables and chairs we can make, but I think it's fine. All right, cool. I think that should be it for this for now. Just gonna go around the windows and just put down some of these things too. And I think we can call it good there for the house now. I think there's, there's not really anything else I want to do here. Um, I think downstairs is fine. Oh yeah, I need that one little window, but that should be okay. And I guess over here, let's make more hay bales. Still need them for the roof and stuff, but I think I also will just want to put down some here. In like various positions. Yeah, that's good enough, actually. <laughs> that's all we need, really. Uh, this is connected, and I guess let's just make these pass blocks. Because we would walk around here a lot, right? No grass. I wouldn't stay if I was like running around here and you know visiting my animals and such working in this area and probably over here too because you know we have to go there to get our stuff and such yeah that's that's okay i guess oh yeah you guys had a cool idea i think trike said that of like using the um what are they called these little connectors for the lamps and such those wall mounts so we could put them here, then the lamp on it, and we could still have those uh, fences. But I think it's good for now. And I did check, like, everything should be lit up just fine indoors. So shouldn't have a problem with, uh, well, there's a spot, but that's okay. With mobs. Uh, this looks a little bit barren, too. I'm not quite sure what to do here yet. I mean, we could put more hay down, I guess. But, um, yeah, maybe that's good. That looks pretty cool. Oh, and then this... Uh... What do we do with this? Do we just connect this? Like, do we just have it as a structure like this? Yeah, I guess that could work. Doesn't really need anything else, does it? I like it. And maybe just for, like, making sure this doesn't fall or something. Put some there, too. And if I had more fences, I do just block this off. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. I like it. Oops. Probably need some leaves and such, but yeah, there we go. So I just need to like really go around and finish up the roof and uh, we're all good. So let's go do something else for today. Okay, so I kind of want to go back to the uh, dungeon that we've been to and just take, a, uh, you know, finish up the last floor. However, I just thought about, you know, there might be an easier way to do this. Uh, if we just go grab, do I have more, have more of these I don't see him. Let's just make more, I guess. Uh, it's only six. And we get three of these, right? Cool. So these are the powered lan uh, lanterns. And the cool thing about those is that... Uh, oops, what did I put away? This. And I need this. Uh, is that they, they prevent mobs from spawning within a 32 block radius. Yeah, it should be radius. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be range. So it should be like 32 blocks into each direction. I think that's what it sounds like. 32 block radius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's a huge range, right? So I wonder if we can just put this uh, above our. Oops, I still need more. Above our roguelike dungeon and prevent all the mobs from spawning. That'd be kind of cool because that would make things uh, super simple, I guess. So we're just gonna set up like a ghetto power thing up there. And I guess we need two of those, right? Same thing we have in our base here with the thermoelectric generators. Now, obviously the dungeons are pretty big. So I don't know how much it would actually cover. And can we see this if I go cave layer? Uh, I can't quite see this. Maybe if I would go down into the dungeon, I could see it. Okay, it's okay. So let me see. There's parts of the dungeon. So I think we're just going to set this up some... Somehow, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm really curious if that would 
prevent the mob spawns. And I think we're just going to leave the area so they can despawn. Did I not bring my... Oops. Okay, brought it. For some reason, I forgot the generator. Yeah, we're just gonna... Oops, not like this. Set this up here. God, I'm breaking all the things. And that should be okay. Now, I don't have anything to mount these, but I... We have a couple, so... Uh, well, only have one relay, so we can... Probably only set up, like, two, maybe, or something. I'm not sure. So, let's just put this here. Because that would make the last floor, like, ex super easy. Okay. Not sure why it's rendering it like this. So, let's just put down one, like, here, I guess. And I don't know which direction the dungeon goes. Uh, it looks like more like this way, though. I mean, it's 32 blocks, but again, we can't uh, we can't connect them that far. I'll just put one over here. Maybe it's good enough. Let's see. Can we connect this still? No, it's too far. Should just go get more connectors, shouldn't I? Well, this is, let's see if this even works like this. Yeah, there we go. So that is glowing, and that should now block all the spawns with a 32 blocks, which is quite a bit. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to see where that last floor is, or one of the last floors we had. And then try to find this on the map and just center our lamp around there, I guess. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot is that these lanterns can actually... They kind of count as a um, relay as well. So you can just keep connecting from them, which is cool. So this is kind of like the beam is where the entrance to the new dungeon is. And the dungeon is... It is kind of more like this way though, but... Um, I don't know if the last floor is going to be like this too. Maybe I should go this way actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah let me go this way. This would be a little bit easier if I could see the chunk boundaries, but I can't right now because of Optifine, I think. <laughs> it's not, uh, if I just turn it on like this. Uh, was that the right one? Yeah, I just don't see it. Even the vanilla one I can't, right? Yeah. A little bit of a problem right now, but that's okay. We just eyeball it, I guess. It doesn't have to be perfect for now. We're just gonna... Try it out and see if we can even like get them to not spawn. I, when I had the lamp here and I went downstairs, I did see mobs. So I don't know if it actually works, but we'll try. Just have one more here. So there's one there, one here, and one over there. So maybe that covers a, a, a bit of a chunk. So I'm going to teleport away and wait a few seconds, hoping that enemies will despawn. And I guess I may as well drop off stuff and then we go back and check it out. Yeah, because I'm not, I'm not really sure if they have a height restriction. Like, if it says 32 blocks, is it also, like, height, you know, 32 blocks? Or is it the entire chunk? Because it says 32 by 32, but no, I definitely see mobs down there. It's also possible that spawners don't get blocked. But, um, hmm, maybe it's just the range, I'm not sure. So, you know, might be more useful to... Place them down here, but I figured if they're already spawned, they probably uh, won't go away if I place them down. So, but yeah, here's the way down. This is still the floor we've stopped at last time. And there is many mobs on the map. <laughs> so, that did not work. Hmm. I wonder really why. Like, is it is it a range or is it something else, you know? Could there be something else? But okay, let's have a look around. We did, like, open up a little bit of this before. Oops. Apparently I'm going up now. And what I don't have on me right now is my shield. God, it's so laggy. laggy. Oh god, is that trap there? Let me just light this up again. That's a creeper. Oh god, oh god, that is not good. That is locked. Oh yeah, it's bad. Oh, it's really bad. I think the game is freezing. Okay, they're fighting each other though. Jeez, get out of here. <laughs> oh, which? Oh boy. Oh boy. That may be something where I should disable something. I don't even have better foliage on. All right, first of all, shield. We definitely need our shield. And I guess I'll do it like this. Because, uh, yeah. It's also maybe, it's, Silly with all these vines. Let's remove these. I don't know what it actually did. I thought this would blow up, but... I think maybe it did. Or maybe it did earlier. Okay, that witch doesn't care about me, it seems. This 
Let's gonna block this up. Hi. Light it all up again. That was a creeper spawn, I guess. Oh, that's a wither arrow. No, with a skeleton. I'm not sure what's happening. Silverfish! Oh god. That is a lot of... Stop! God, these are the worst things ever, aren't they? Okay. Okay, got him. These are the worst things ever. Oh, come on, game. You can do it. You know what? Next time we go exploring like dungeons and stuff, probably gonna turn off shaders and stuff. Just so we get that extra bit of performance, because these are always extremely laggy. This looks really nice. Like this little water thing here. I like the style a lot. Like I like the ruined, you know, the old temple styled ruined stuff. Um, so seeing these things makes me happy. How's our armor? I don't want to break anything, ideally, if I can avoid it. Okay. These are still fighting over there. Considering how many creepers there were. Okay, that didn't light it up properly, I guess. Kind of hoping... <sighs> Come on, stop! That there's still another creeper spawner. I feel like the shield isn't even too useful here right now. Just because there's so many <laughs> shooting. Oh, there you are. I don't know if I should turn these off. Or just, just break them, the spawners. Are you attacking him or me? I can't tell. Okay. Alright, so what do we have here? Skeleton. Skeleton. I think it's all skeleton then. This is zombie though, I think. Zombie. There were the, uh, like one of them spawned with a skeleton, so I wonder if they can... What? Ugh. They can spawn too. Is there a silverfish spawner? I feel like there might be a silverfish spawner somewhere. Okay, let's go down this way. Light it all up. Oh, this is a creeper one. Is it? Yes. So these are trap chests. Okay, okay. Please light this up properly. I want to keep those two if I can. Okay, there's a creeper there. Because, you know, like, having a creeper spawner is freaking awesome. We need gunpowder and stuff. Okay. Just gonna block off these sides. Maybe put a torch down there. Nice placement, not really. Uh, I want to light this up too. That's also creeper one. Oh, cool! So we have two creeper ones. Can you guys not? Okay, let's make sure we don't blow these up again. The very fragile spawners. Oh, cave spider. Ah, crap. Nope. Not today, cave spiders. Okay. Oh, what is this? Iron pick efficiency 4. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Lots of chests. Ooh, Depth Strider 3. Awesome. Temperate blade mending. High durability. Emeralds. Good stuff. And you can see the nether stuff. So that is the last floor down there. Uh, this is also trap 1. I'm glad the trap ones look a little bit different in this. Okay, not not great. Strength though, I'll take that. Okay, so we gotta be careful here. These are all trapped because um, there's a plenty of TNT down there. I'm gonna keep lighting this up. Now we don't have a way to transport spawners yet. I'm just gonna like ooh, vein minders. Where do you guys come from? There must be a. Sp oh my god! Stop! <laughs> like. You're like worse than uh, cave spiders. Okay, what do we have here? Protection. And you're good, right? Yeah. Diamonds. Okay. That's fine. I'm not. I'm. I don't really care too much about the loot anyway. I just want the. Uh, you know, the spawner. To be honest. Oh, the TNT is nice too. What do we get here? Aqua Affinity, Aqua Affinity, also pretty cool. Nice. Cool, yeah, so definitely whenever we need, whenever we can transport spawners, we need to come back here and get those. Pick them up. Oh, and here's the entrance. 
to the last floor. I do kind of wish, though, that, um, you know, the spawner thing would have worked, but, uh, I mean, the, the lantern thing would have worked. Ooh, God. Okay. Just gonna do this for now. <laughs> um, but it didn't, so that's okay. Uh, I don't know if you guys know... Ooh, yes, please. If you guys know, is there, like, a horizontal range, too, for those lanterns? Or maybe they can just kind of block these specific mobs, because they're from the dungeon or something. I don't know. Would have been awesome, though, if they could. So, free with our skeleton skulls. I think that's all of them. Lock of quartz, huh? Oh, this is our silverfish spawner here. Yeah, I do remember those. Okay. Goodbye, silverfish. Out of torches again, huh? I don't have any sticks on me. Um, okay. Well, that's okay. Well, we kind of did... We found this room. Oh, there's set of quartz. And there's another spawner here or something? No. What is this? What is this trickery here? There's something going on. Oh yeah, there's another spawner here. Let me just break this super quick. There we go. Boink. Uh, but yeah, cool. So, I think we're gonna leave it at this for now. Kind of out of time anyway. I may try to just bring the lanterns down here. And try it out. See if we can if I place it down like on this level, if that will block it. Maybe I just didn't, like, leave for long enough, but, like, I mean, there's a lot of mobs on the map right now, so uh, it definitely doesn't work at the moment. This, I think, is the good room downstairs. This looks like the good room. Could be different. There's, like, one room that has, like, eight chests near lava, and they all have amazing stuff, like, really good books and stuff. Oh, yeah, there's still so much more, and it looks like the last level is more on this side then, huh? Or is this... You can see, like, all these dark spots still. Looks like it's a pretty big dungeon. Cool. So, yeah, we'll explore this uh, next time or so. And we also got, like, the silver f uh, fish powder, which is from Inspiration as well. And you can actually make haste potions with that, which is great. So, that's something uh, pretty useful to have. Last three minutes. I think there's, like, there's one that's haste two for one and a half minutes or something. Yeah, haste two for one and a half minutes, so... I uh, could do that as well, but yeah, it's kind of cool that you get that, that you can just find that, I guess. Uh, but anyway, like I said, we're going to end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Next time, we either go back to the dungeon. The problem with the dungeon is I don't want to do, like, just a dungeon uh, again, because we already kind of had an episode with just dungeon. But it's such a big place, it does take a while. So I may just do a little bit of a, you know, cut some things out and just go through and show what's interesting and such. But, um... I definitely want to, like, clear it up, too. I don't want to, like, leave it uncleared. Plus, there's really good stuff down there. Really good enchantments and so on. So, definitely worth doing at one point. But I also want to get more into tech stuff. We have so many quests to do. Uh, we do want to kind of get started with a bit better power. We can do the diesel generator here. It does kind of have to, like, you, it, it requires you to make the diesel generator uh, to progress through the quests. We could technically just go for the steam engine as well, which produces more power. But I guess it's fine to set these up too. The diesel genera generator is going to be pretty easy, especially with the uh, cloches and such. So that might be good. But I'm still trying to figure out where to build my tech building and what kind of style. I'm thinking I might go with like a longboat. Vikings always have a longboat. Uh, not longboat, sorry. Long house. <laughs> um, it's like this weird oval shape looking building that a lot of Vikings had. And they're pretty big, so it might be enough for a majority of our machines, at least like crushers, assemblers maybe, that kind of thing, that kind of stuff. Um, but then like the steam turbine, for example, is huge, so maybe we'll just have outdoor spaces for these and just decorate the place around it, you know, just make it look like a industrial kind of work area. Well, we'll figure it out. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.